Hi there, I'm Mundu and welcome back to Old School Musicum. So last time Mother betrayed us and we found out that we're part of the Arcanians uh, and we blew up a world. So great. So let's see why Mother has betrayed us and if we can save whatever is left of the Arcanians besides ourselves, of course. So we unlock this new world again. Let's just dive into it. Ooh, it's a snowy world. Brr, it's really cold here. Aha, nice costume, Princess Rob. Great, I'm the one who gets stuck in the less practical outfit again. Fate is cruel. But if it wants to make me a princess, I'll be a princess. I'll kneel before her majesty tip. <laughs> you always take your roles a bit too seriously. Okay, we really need to find Clint quickly. We should get going. All right, let's find that flute. Are those penguins? Duckies? What are they? Are we beating them? Why are we beating the little animals? What did they do to us? Go on, Link and Zelda. I mean, Tip and Rob. We can do this. Beat all the little penguins. Poor little animals. Where are we? Is Clint somewhere here? Oh, some green uh, lens. Phew, finally out of the snow. I really like my outfit after all. It gives me quite warm. Lucky you. My elf costume is not as effective. Let's keep going. We'll find someone sooner or later. Let's go. Our little birds and bats. And snakes. Okay. It's gonna beat all the animals. Wait, so I'm in this world and I have to find the flute. Is it because it's the Link is all the flute thing? The ocarina? Is it gonna be an ocarina? Rob, which way would you like to go? Right, without hesitation. Okay, we'll go to left. Okay. Oh, we're inside somewhere now. This is why I never listen to you. Ah, because the other way was a dead end. Okay. Are we not gonna get any of the chests? There might be a flute in there. You never know. Come on, we should almost be through this dungeon. Ooh. Oh, there's a sword in the stone. It's kind of broken. New music. Ballet of the cool fish. Very cool fish. Hmm. It looks like an altar. Exactly. Who's there? Who are you? You've entered the swamp temple. One of the sacred sites of this world. My name is Maurice. I'm the guardian of this temple. Tip and drop. We've just arrived and... I know. You were sent by close by to find Clint. How do you know? Oh. oh. I am a great sage, you know. Oh, not a great sage. Okay. Those spies and I communicate telepathically sometimes. I need you, Princess Rob. And your little elf too. Aw, I'm not little. Explain the situation to me, great sage. Munis has awakened. Ooh. Oh. He was asleep inside the water temple, waiting for the right moment to attack us. He has sent his army of monsters to destroy the legendary swords. Oh, is one of the swords in the... Is it like the sword in the altar. Is that one of the legendary swords? Like that sword? Unfortunately, I was unable to protect my temple. Ah. Yeah, so that is one of the legendary swords. The swamp sword has been destroyed. What a nightmare. If he succeeds in destroying all the swords, all is lost. Have no fear. My servant and I will help you. Servant? Don't overdo it, Rob. Thank you, princess. Travel through the kingdom until you reach the Temple of the Plains. You'll find the next sword there. Hurry now. The fate of this world is in your hands. Are you sure you want to leave the fate of the world in our hands? I mean, we've already destroyed quite a few worlds. I mean, we don't have the, the, the virus anymore. But still? Onto the plain sword. Say, Rob. Princess Rob. <laughs> Sorry. Your Majesty. Do you think we can do it? Why do you ask me this now? So far, all we've done is destroy every world that we've passed through. That's what I just said! This is the first time that we have the power to fix the situation. Why do you think I accepted this quest? We may have faulty pixels uh, on our hands, but here we can do what's right. This is our chance to redeem ourselves. You're right. Let's go. By first, of course, killing all kinds of animals again, because they have wronged us so much. Oh, we found a little 
town. And we're back into the place again. Oh. But there's more. Oh. Hello. Do you think he's dead? Ah. Monsters. They're everywhere. The legendary sword is... Take my sword and enter the dungeon. I couldn't read that last word. That was so fast. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Is this your temple? Oh, the sword is still fine here. That's good. Here it is. Wah. We got a sword. Let's go. Oh yeah, these look more like little monsters. Although there's still just normal bats and snakes between there, but sure. Oh, the deserts. Are we gonna find another sword here? Desert sword? Oh. Hi. I see that you have le the legendary sword with you. It's a piece of shit. Take this sword of light instead and go fight Munis. So we just got a lightsaber? Is that what just happened? Oh. Hi Munis, we're coming for you. With the power of the legendary swords. Munis. Ooh, yep, that's um... He has a lot of tentacles for... What's supposed to be like just a kraken. Unless he just keeps like... Regenerating them constantly. Hi. Are we gonna go inside your mouth though, right? Okay, no. Are we gonna laser beam him? Yep, we do. Damn. Well, that was effective indeed. Okay. Was that the fight? Was that it? We are so OP. Hi. Look at all these little villagers. Just going on around their business. Are we gonna ruin it? Where's Maurice? Great Sage! We've arrived in town. It's nice to see something other than water and monsters. We should ask the citizens if they know where Clint is. Hello, sir. Why, hello, tiny, minuscule elf. Aww. Call me that one more time and I'll thrust my sword into your... Whoa, whoa. Please excuse my brother. He's a bit sensitive about his height. Well, okay. Pip, you need to rein it in a bit. I'm sorry, Rob. Let's try that again. Who else can we bother? Will we bother you? We will bother you. Hello, ma'am. Hello, princess. Watch out. There's a tiny elf listening to us. We're looking for someone named Klim. Do you know him? Do I know him? Everyone knows who Klim is here. That dirty little out. Oh, that's not very positive. You seem angry with him. He lived here in the past, but we threw him out. Every morning, we would find chickens chopped in half around the village. What? Why? One night, we kept watch with the other citizens. We caught Klim with that stupid look on his face, butchering them with his sword. Is that so bad? You're joking, right? There's no worse crime than attacking a chicken. I get it. I get the reference. Okay, yeah. We exiled these people to the desolate lands of Godot, many miles away. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go, Tip. We should be able to find him now. Okay. Let's go get the chicken murderer. Through the deserts. Well, of course, beating more... Probably innocent snakes and birds. There's quite a few villages in this desert, too. Okay. But none of these have clean. Not even in one of those wells, maybe, or something. Not gonna check it out. Oh, where are we now, then? This is a really shady place. Yeah, you can say that again. They take justice very seriously. Or they just have an issue with chickens. Might be both. So this is where they banish clean to? It doesn't really look like a very nice place to live. I don't even see any type of greens or anything to survive on. Well, we'll find out if he's still alive. I mean, he should be right. I mean, I do suppose there's plenty of chests where he could like hide food and stuff in, or himself. Again, we do not check any of it. Ooh, lava lens. Okay, it's so hot. It's getting worse. Do you remember when I said that my outfit kept me warm? It's still keeping me very warm. Yeah, it's hard being a princess. It's so hard. Let's hurry and find Clint before you catch fire. That might be a pretty good idea, yeah. Catching fire is not a very 
uncomfortable situation to be in. We're going pretty damn fast now. I mean, I've, it feels like we're really walking faster than in the desert and the plains and stuff. Ooh. Is that where Glenn is? In that cave? Probably. Oh, Glenn. Are you in here? Oh, a sign. Hide away of Clint, the exile. I mean, that's pretty clear. Clint is in here. Very probably. We're finally here. Let's get that flute. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. No sign of Clint. And the place seems to have been ransacked. Yeah, kinda. It's chicken droppings. But what happened here? Did a chicken get super angry and kill him? Or like take him out of his bed at least and kick? Chicken napped him. There's a ladder on the ground. We, the soldiers of the Chicken Republic, have taken Clint prisoner, quickly cidered as a war criminal. He will be tortured and maybe even roasted at a stake. They seem angry. Yeah, quite. Long live the Chicken Republic. Death to oppressors. Cluck cluck. It will never end. There's no point in staying here any longer. We need to go and talk to these angry chickens. Let's do that then. Let's find Clint with the chickens. Oh chickens, where are you at? Give us Clint. Several years ago, a group of scientific chickens opened a portal to other worlds. Is this the chicken version of Arcania? They discovered chickens, they're being manipulated, tortured, subdued. Attacking chickens had become a game, a challenge. From humans to elves dressed in green, the entire universe was after them. Oh, poor chickens. They thus decided to create a safe haven where they could live in harmony. Welcome. To this world. The most 3D looking world so far. Welcome to the Chicken Republic. Chicken Republic. There's any button. Okay. We've arrived. We need to find Clint right away. Nothing around us. We should see if someone can help us. This really is the most 3D looking one so far. Okay, that's a lot of chickens. Hello, chickens! Ooh. Who are you? We're travelers, and we'd like to speak to your leader. Strangers are not allowed in the Chicken Republic. Great, we've stumbled across the races, chickens. Okay, look, we're just trying to find Clint. Maybe... I cluck cluck can't believe it! You're with this scum? This scum? He has spent years torturing us, humiliating us. King Fabris threw him in the dungeon. May he rot there. And where might we find this King Fabris? Strangers, you have wandered into our land with your spirits full of hatred. You've pronounced the names of our enemies in our village. We broke our chains many moons ago. We won't let ourselves be intimidated by two rectangles dressed in armor. This isn't when chickens fight, but rather that of thousands of... Too long, didn't read. They killed Pauline! Rob, why did you do that? I'm sorry, I can't stand monologues. Alert the guards, quickly! We should go. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay, well that's one way to get rid of chickens. Are we gonna kill a lot of chickens now in their own world? This really is the most really looking one so far. That's pretty cool. I like it. Clock, don't move. That was too easy. We've received the order to eliminate you. At all clock costs. Oh yeah? And there's another sword. It's time to make some nuggets. Ooh, I kinda want nuggets now. Is this some kind of turn-based game thing? It is a turn-based game thing. Our time to attack. Now they're gonna attack. 
We're still not. Oh no, we're still attacking. Ooh, is that a magic sword now? Ooh, you killed my sisters. We'll make you pay a hundredfold. Good luck with that while you're dead. Let's keep going. Yeah, we probably should. Just keep running and find Glyn and get the hell out of here. Oh, those look a bit stronger. I put on my best cluck cluck ch chain mill in order to destroy you. Attack. Okay. We should still be fine though. We're so strong. You're just chickens. Are you gonna give up? Do you yield? Damn. I failed my king. Please forgive me. Bye. On to the next fight. Let's find this king. Are we gonna kill the king? Probably. A new village. Are there gonna be more chickens? A lot more. A sorcerer in between there too. Hey chickens, is the castle still far away? Oh yes, it's look like entertaining a long way from here. But why am I helping you? Sweet little chicky. Grrr. Just don't be so mad, Lily. It will be fine. It will be over very soon. Let's make some little nuggets. Are you gonna power short again? Nice. Ooh, all of them now. Okay. I'm on my way. After weeks of searching, Tip and Rob finally found the castle of the Chicken King. Weeks of searching. Okay. Halt. You. You're Tip and Rob. The butchers. Hear the Tip? We're rather famous now. You've killed half of the army. We just want to talk to the king. If you let us pass, nothing bad will happen to you. Out of the question. You'll have to defeat us first. Well, that should be easy. <laughs> All you had to do was ask. That's it. Okay. There's... Is for those the only... Oh, no. There's more guards. I was just gonna ask, like, are those the only guards that were here? Okay. Guess we can just pass. Tip and drop the butchers. You're one giant chicken. Yes. We've already been told about this nickname. You have wreaked havoc and destruction to get here. What are you looking for? We want to see Clint. He has an item that we need. So you're conspiring with this criminal? I'm not surprised. Listen, we've traveled thousands of kilopixels to get here. Your entire army wouldn't stop attacking us, but we hadn't done anything wrong. Okay, my brother might have killed an innocent villager when we arrived. It was an accident. But now, all that we ask of you is five minutes with Klim. After that, you'll never hear from us again. You represent everything we have been fighting against since the beginning. The time has come for you to disappear. But we just want to talk with Klim. Well, sure. If these guards still want to try to put up a fight against us, the butchers, they can be our guest. Do you yield? Your guards are gone. How dare you? Oh. Are you gonna run away now? We'll meet again. Very soon. You really are gonna flee? Oh, there you are again. Our army will win. And they haven't for the entire past weeks that we've been here. So I really doubt they will suddenly win now. We've had a lot of practice after all. Come on, if I were you, I would really start to surrender right now, because you're not going to make it out of your life if you keep attacking us like this. I just want to speak with Clint. Is that so hard to understand? Will you surrender now? All your guards are gone again. You. I'll crush you. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you could do that, but still. I've had enough of these chickens. It's time to put an end to this. Bow down before me and I'll spare you. Maybe. Probably not. But you should still try. We've defeated half of your army. It's the end. That's it. Like, why do you really think you're gonna win this? I Like, they say already, we've defeated half of your army. Already. We're gonna get you. Are you done yet? Oh. Are you gonna explode? What's happening? <gasps> Rotisserie chicken? Finally!
you're rid of these chickens. Hey, you over there. What is with your face? Hello? Oh, you're the one there. Nice fight. Who are you? Are you Clint? Who are you? I'm Clint. And you are? It's Clint. Okay. Clint, at last. I'm Tip and this is my brother, Rob. We've been looking for you for weeks. You've come to set me free? Not at all. We just need your magic flute. Oh. And if I give it to you, will you still release me? Give us the flute, Clint. Hmm, okay. It's in the chest in front of the cell with the rest of my belongings. Ah. Some bombs, a boomerang, 27 compasses, 32 dungeon maps. Ah, here it is. Yay. The flutes. Tip, we did it. It's time to go back and see Clutch Pied. Gladly. Okay. I really need to work on my negotiation skills. Yeah, probably. Good luck there. All right, let's do this. Let's get that shadow. Oh, everyone's gathered. Oh, we are wearing the other uniform again. You found the flute. It's time to open a portal leading to the shadow. Are you ready? Whatever lies behind this door, we need to face it. Let's go. Let's go find and kill that shadow. Oh. Okay. What is this place? Mother? Hello, children. Ma mother? Oh, you can stop with the mother, my dear. My real name is Xalifad, ruler of the glitches, the shadow of Arcania. So, all this time, it was you. You're not our mother? Why did you do all of this? After destroying Arcania, I needed time to regain my strength. It took me a thousand years to regain my form. I then went to search for the Arcanians who had eluded me. I took revenge on a small colony of survivors. Your parents. Xalifad. I want to say mother, but you're not mother, no. Xalifad. So, there are other colonies? Not anymore. Ho <laughs> ho. Um. I took you both in and raised you so that you could help me extend my reach throughout the universe. You played your part perfectly. It's over, Xalifad. We're going to put an end to your existence. Oh ho! Oh. Hey, bye. Oh. You know nothing of the extent of my power. I'll crush you, children. Okay. Well. Sh oh. The lens is being. Okay, run. Well, walk. I guess we're just walking, not running. Well, this is not good. This is really not good. But come on, we are Tip and Rob. We've got this. Hi. Well, children, aren't you going to give your mother a hug? You're not our mother. You're a useless pile of glitches. You would be nothing without me. I raised you, fed you, tortured and betrayed us as well. It's the end for you, mother. What are you throwing at us? Like little glitch shadows? Are you just gonna keep throwing stuff at us? It's not like you haven't done it before. Rob! Now! Ooh! Remote! Oh! You little... I don't know what you're trying to say, but it's got the glitch out, I guess. I already forgot we still have the remote. Oh, we got, we got a real new remote from the space station, of course. Come on, Xalifat, just give up. We are faster than you. And we can dodge all your stuff. Whatever you throw at us. Do you know what the funniest thing is, children? I never cared about you. Even after all these years by your side. It's a relief to know that a monster like you isn't really our mother. Yeah. Oh, -ho, how ungrateful, Tip. You should respect me. I will soon rule over all of the worlds. Well, you kind of—you'll never hurt anyone ever again. Let's finish this. 
it kind of seems like you're trying to kill us anyway. So even if I were to respect you, even if I wanted to, it wouldn't really make much of a difference. Because, like, everything's going to be that soon. That did not go very well at the end there. But we still got it. Did we kill you? Did we destroy you? Are you gonna glitch away now? Children, you've gone too far. I am the Alpha and the Omega. You must obey me. Our whole childhood, we obeyed you. Thinking that you were preparing us to become heroes. Well... Now's the time for us to be exactly that. It's the end for you, mother. Ah! I can't disappear. Well, you can. Go now, mother. Farewell. Uh, uh, Rob? We're alive? It would seem so. They... they came back! Ah... You did it! You all stayed. Of course! You defeated the Shadow. It's incredible! Everyone was waiting impatiently for your return. You are the heroes that all the worlds were waiting for. Thank you, Tip and Drop. And that all thanks to the training of Mother. Life then returned to normal. Rob and I decided to stay in the survivor's village. These people were our only family from then on. How sweet. We quickly settled into our new life. Such a happy little place now. Our difficult childhood had given way to sweet and peaceful life. Oh, look at him playing the, the guitar. Under the stars, we would listen to the stories of our ancestors. And for the first time ever, we finally felt at home. Ah, How nice. at the stars the end hmm. question mark question mark wait what but we killed Xalifat right the people behind the old school musical the one who decides everything and shouts at everyone okay the expert, the master of pixels who doesn't do anything that the one who shouts asks, but it's better that way, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Bonsoir betrayed him again. The one who has to write 30 lines of code just to show a blue square on the red background. This is pretty well done. Felix Herb, the one who does the exact same thing as the one before, but has more hair. The hippie who plays the djembe and composes music. The one who negotiated his conduct very poorly and found himself shirtless for a shirtless for a kebab. The one will listen to the music 376,457 times to order to set the steps. Hideo Kojima, the one we had absolutely no involvement in developing this game. And that's the one we have here. Okay. Gladius, the one who are paid to hang around on Facebook and Twitter. Mood, Zubutam, Hello World, LeBlankton. The ones who were invited because they know how to have a good time. Not very unimportant. Old School Musical was born thanks to you and your support. Thank you for playing. Be sure to spread the word. That's a pretty genius way of doing the end credits. That's enjoyable. Hey, you're still here? So, the story. Was it good? I like the story. It was a fun story. Yes. It was a real challenge to recount everything. Well, everything. Almost. In fact, we skipped over a whole section. Do you remember when we were looking for the Chicken King? It took longer than expected. 
much, much longer than expected. Yeah, you were talking about weeks. It's time to tell you everything that really happened. More story. Oh. Pip and Drop were searching for the castle where Clint was being held prisoner. Ooh. The Chicken King army is assembled in order to barricade the roads. This story describes their bloody journey. Chicken Republic, the untold story from the old from old school musical. Oh what? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's that's pretty fun. I may go through this another time though, but not right now. Anyhow, that was at least the main story of Old School Musical. That was a really fun game with a lot of jokes, a lot of lots of references. It's just very well made. I I really enjoyed that. I could really recommend playing for yourself as well if you want to like hear the complete songs or just get the full experience for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!